welcome to my channel it's your girl nikoya therese and i'm back with another video as you have read the title well i hope you read the title well duh you read the title i am here to tell a story i'm on my worst job experience the worst job the ghettoest job i have ever experienced and the sad thing about it it was my first job my first real job well, before we get any further into this video please remember to like share comment and subscribe to your friend your auntie brother sister uncle for subscribe because we are on our way to 500 subs yeah. so happy girl gets 500 period before we get any further into this video i just want to say i'm not going to tell the name of the company but duh, i won't tell the name of the company won't call the person's name because you know that's a bit too much I'm not trying to get sued or anything even though i have more things to sue them for than they have to sue me for so they wouldn't even try they wouldn't even try anyways all right i want to kind of give it in chronological order i'm going to try my best to give you guys the events in the sequence that they occurred I'm gonna try my best because I don't even know where to start. There are so many things, so many different incidents that occurred at this job. Um, I'm gonna get into all that because I don't want the video to be too long. But this was, this is kind of still fresh. It was two years ago. It was in 2020. 20, I left in 2020, so it's still very fresh, and that job scarred me like up to this point we get triggered sometimes thinking about the things i went through at that job so yeah just wanted to make that disclaimer here we go all right the job i was working at this small accounting firm as an accounting clerk i was introduced to the job by my mom she knew the boss let's call the boss carmen carmen Give them names carmen was the boss she was the owner of the business owner of the firm whatever whatever small accounting firm she usually hires up to three max when i was there because it's very small it's normally two but we'll get into why three persons were there at a point so introduced to this job one summer i think it was 2019 summer went there first job girl glad 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 me not a working world not really but really me not a working world me at work first summer job up here nice me my own money and i'm doing something that i actually loved right because i love accounting and that is a field i want to go in in the future so i was very happy eager to learn everything so when i went to the job she fell in love with me because I was quick. I grasped everything quick from just show me one time. I get it like but just you know my on point period. So mega said she fell in love with me because I know she didn't love me. She always had tell my mother said she loved me work and this and that, right? And I remember I went there on a summer job and she told me anytime I get break, any break at all, Christmas break summer break easter break if i'm going to go back to school anytime i get break i must come and work for her right because yeah she loved me anyway work there summer everything nice you know time to go back to school this was the summer after i left high school you know after i left high school after i left fifth form so you know a sixth form september morning so i left and i went back to sixth form to so actually like me she offered to pay my school fee right she paid my school fee if you never like me if you never rate me you wouldn't offer for paying my school fee right you see what i say she did like me she paid my school fee very appreciative up to this day i still well, I still appreciate that i'm not gonna lie i, I that's more appreciate that person gonna say yeah why not you have the money to pay it so she paid and whatever we passed that i'm gonna go through school um christmas holidays come around remember you know any break me get me a go kaya i'm off work me want work me want make money of course me go come so christmas me go to the job the company 
and I worked there Christmas. Christmas pause. January come, me go back to school. I'm a school girl. Going back to school January. So when I left January, I had a friend. She wanted some money to work, right? Because it was me and this other girl working there. That girl was working there before me. So it was the two of us. And when I left, it would be her alone. So when I left in January to go back to school, I had a friend and I introduced her to the job because she needed someone to work, right? So my friend took up the offer and went in February, I think, January, February, started to working for her. Cool. So me, me in their school, she's there working. Then summer come again. Summer. So me and say me I go work, of course. So I went there like school things. I finished school July 2nd and the, like that would have be a Friday and the Monday my day I work as my done school I'm gonna work even the last day I went there in my uniform to tell her that hey I am coming on Monday coming to work and she was like cool cool alright everything whatever so remember to it's a small firm so there are two desks at the front my friend was at one and the girl that I told you that she was there before me she was at one I had no problem with working at the back so I worked at the back of the office it was comfortable to me I don't have any problem working at the back when I need for the other front anyway when I like I don't know business with me for the other front I collect tip or make myself presentable for nobody you know present myself for nothing at all because I'm just here working on the books record balancing everything blah 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 at the back cool so working at the back i didn't have a problem so that's how three of us end up being there right because she now got just fired them and we call me coma and, uh, and bear in mind i plan to work only for the summer until i decided that i'm not gonna go back to upper six so i completed lower six but i decided that i'm not going to go to upper six i'm just going to continue to work and do my cape subjects unit tools outside evening school right so i told her that and she was okay with it until it reached down to like september she asked me if i not go to school so may i say remember i told you that no i'm not gonna go to school i'm just gonna go to evening school and do cape unit tools for the three subjects that i was doing at the time he was like all right you sure you can manage and i said yeah i can manage because i know myself i'm gonna know some it's not tough i'm gonna know some can go manage school and work i would just have to leave like certain days i would have to leave like one hour or 30 minutes earlier than um closing time and she okayed that right and i said look oh god i work working on people like god really bless me with this job bless me at the time it was a blessing i'm not gonna lie i was very happy there until things start get mm, things start get rough things start get tense apparently me leaving um at a certain hour to go to school she had a problem with that she didn't make it clear that she had a problem with that she would just mumble and you know throw subs and them somebody and you yes, see why she be like this like she never okayed it she was so fine with it but you know when people when you think people want better for you until them see actually do better for yourself that is where the problem come in them will all shut up one like say they must support you cheer you on but once them see do better them no one that it's like she want more for just continue working for her full time but just come to school you know want me to do better for myself you know mama go to college at first make it seem like that she didn't want for me you know yeah she want more finish school and go to college and get everything but when she, when it actually start happen and you start them start see that play out them meaning she and her daughter i'm so tell about her daughter it's like it was a problem you know anyway her daughter she has a daughter. We'll call her Boots. Boots. Mm, boots. So Boots usually pass through now and then regularly. She used to pass through regularly. She's not an employee there. She's not my supervisor. She's nobody's supervisor. She's she's just her daughter that passed through now and then. Cool. We don't talk about Boots. I'm so bring about Boots. So I'm going to tell you about 
certain incidents, certain significant incidents. We're coming out, going to details with all the little foolishness which what do you go through with that job and my former employer remember i'm just come out of school and i work i don't have a national id i don't have a voter's id none of that I'm just come out of school just turn 18 where would i get an id from so usually when i was working there summer jobs um and Christmas she usually pay me cash right but now that I'm going to be permanent she put me on payroll so I'm gonna start get checks get out that that's get out because why you're not transferring it to bank accounts get out anyway so she usually pay me cash but now when she start paying me checks she had to sign the back of the check and I used to collect it with my school ID that's all I had for my name my school ID so until remember me a girl school so it, it come like she start malice me for girl school or something i don't know what it was i don't know how this lady just start for behave like me and her have beef she signed my check one month no she didn't sign my check one month right so i went to the bank i didn't realize that it wasn't signed i went to the bank Get presented the check to the teller and she informed me that her my employer no longer allows me no longer permits them to cash out a check from her bank account if I don't have identification so I'm like you sure she she normally authorizes every month then sure call her they were like no we always spoke to her now well, we cannot cash a check for you sweetie you need an id or you need your passport so i say oh, what kind of cross is this what, what kind of cross is this somebody have to act like myself go up at the bank and feel left with no money get out so i went back to work and i was like hey miss carmen i was not able to cash the check because i say whatever whatever she said yes my no so i said huh pardon Pardon? She said yes, man. I mean, tell him not do it. So I said why? She said because she tell me to get my ID. I'm not going to lie. She told me that I need to get an ID, but I did not get the time to get the ID. Right? I work five days a week, Monday to Friday. When me I go go a business place to get an ID? When? When me I go give me the time for go get the ID? She didn't give me the time. So me I said but. I have money get an ID. I haven't gotten the time to deal with that. She has said, Well, she not know me to do with it. She no business. She has said, but I need to cash my check. If I don't cash my check, I don't have money to come to work. I don't have money to buy lunch. Let me make sure I made that clear because that's a go in my excuse why me now come at work. If I am coming to work and not getting paid, then what's the sense? But in her defense, I can't say that she did not pay me because technically she did pay me but i am not able to cash the check because i don't have identification all right so me gone ball now in the bathroom the amount of time i'm ball in the bathroom yeah, is ridiculous this job stressed me out so many times i cried in the bathroom countless amount of times so me gone in the bathroom go ball i'm not making sure you send me a ball though me not about my ball i'm gonna call my sister every time something happened to me I'm gonna call my big sister. Call my big sister, me and said, Diane, um, I can't cash my check. She not allow them to cash my check for me. She not allow me. She not authorize the bank for me to cash the check with my ID no more. She not sign the back of the check. So my sister said, So why should I do all of this? Blah, blah, blah. So my sister said, She'll follow me to the bank the next day, right? Cool. Me and my sister go to the bank for try, you know? She don't know what would they try. But them still never cash a check come down with my face long a man long on my sister follow me back in at the compound now and i'm still about there for a while because this was at my lunch time then i bought there for a while and me a cry my sister you know brace me and i hold me and i push me and i say she wicked <laughs> she wicked for not cash a check for your nick she wicked and she just oh i get bit and i saw people steal especially certain old people Da, 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 da. So, why am I tears now when I'm going in? 
I don't know. Who can come forward here when my sister says she is wicked? But they heard and they told her. So I'm going now and she said, oh, Who is that out there? Who is that out there? Some said, That is my sister. What is she doing out there? Some said, She followed me to the bank to try and catch a check. She just said, So when I get through, someone said, No, they did not allow it. She said, Oh, Manu, come me tell him. I said, me say what? What is wrong with this lady? Like, what? Why you ask me? Then see if you know. Why you ask me? You just I try pushing them face and rubbing them face. Say hello, you have the handler, have the knife, and me and I have nothing. Like, you know. <sighs> so, I sit down on my dicks and I work. Sad as ever. Sad as ever. And I guess she felt sorry for me. And say she was sign the check for me. So she signed the check for me, but past that incident, right? Past that incident. But get over it, pass it, and I eventually got my identification. She can't chat to me, she can't hold me back from me. Sign that check. I'm going to the bank and I'm off forget it. I'm off forget my cash. Period. So past that incident then. A next incident that occurred at this job. I usually wear nails. Like remember summer, Christmas before my cup and payroll. Me a young girl, right? Me have my nails done. They were about this long. Not not too extravagant. They know that extravagant and I tell no people. So my nails I used to do my nails on Christmas and summer holiday, right? She had no problem because that did not interfere with my handwriting. I could write perfectly fine. I could calculate perfectly fine. She had no issue with my nails. Until after the check, I tell her she just had developed hatred in her heart for me. I don't know why. Until October, one of the October for my birthday, I did my nails. For a good while, my nails not do right. So my birthday come on and I do my nails. Regularly into my normal get. Tell me how oh, she got see my nails on top of What them they? So I say, what do you mean? She has say, what them they put my finger? And bear in mind, it's a plain color. Nobody doesn't mean nothing. Just plain, this li lilac purple color. She used to find every little thing, every little thing for argue about or every little thing to find a problem with. So I say, What's wrong with my nails, Miss Carmen? And she talked about them they too long. Why are they so long? So I say, you don't normally have a problem with my nails, and it, I don't have a problem writing or anything. Remember, this is my first job, and everybody, every you know adults I used to talk to, my family members, them used to tell me say, when your first job, make sure they leave a good impression. If you're going to leave, don't leave on a bad note. Because usually when you go apply for other jobs, they call back your former employer and find out, you know, give a little background information on you and blah blah blah. How you behave and such. So that always used to haunt me, right? It's always haunt me. Remember, me and young girl I used to the working world and I go with people with experience and I listen to people with experience. So I never ever ever disrespected this lady this lady. Ever. Ever. So I talk to her, come and say, You don't normally have a problem with my nails. Like, what's wrong? She talk about she don't want them being in her office. Bearing my people is a small office, people barely come in there. It's an accounting firm, small accounting firm. Nobody now come in there, we're not on the food, we're not sell sanitary thing. What is the problem? I'm not a nurse. Someone said, Miss Carmen. Um, this don't affect my handwriting, blah blah blah. And she said, mm, but that too long. I don't want that. Blah, blah, blah. So she used to go on and deal with me like me a pitney. And being man, she used to call me child. She used to call me that child. She don't call me by my name that child most of the time, and she don't learn how to pronounce my name up to this day. <clears throat> Very unprofessional. Like, why are you referring to me as child? I'm an adult now. Period. I'm an adult now. I'm 18. Period. So, anyway, I say, you know, I ignore I ignore because I just do my nails and I take them off. I take them off. 
this happened on a Friday, right? So the Monday morning she come and say, <laughs> so she used to be, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about that already. So I say, about what? Miss Carmen, I'm say about what? You're not taking them there for your finger. Make me come in here tomorrow and see them there for your finger. I'm gonna sign a check and send me your yard. So I say, pardon? I <laughs> shook out of myself. And I regular she used to use that. I just sign a check and send me your yard. I say, you did not tell me you have a problem with my nails, with my handwriting, with anything. And bear in mind, after she talked about the nails on a Friday, I did something afterwards, right? Did some work for her, brought it to her to check and so. And she said, but the handwriting, the bad man, you can still write. So me, you know, take it out on me, I said, okay, I'm good. So for she come Monday now and bring this up back was very strange to me. Very strange because I think we'll pass this, right? So I say, you know, this is my first job. I took the nails off. I took it off probably two days after. I never take it off immediately. I'm going to take it off about two days after because I'm paying my money for my nails and you get the point. My nails never cause no problem. She just wants to find everything for argue about. Next incident when corona just um in jamaica like the first case she stopped coming to work on a daily right she stopped coming to work on a daily she used to come like when you just come for the first three months she stopped going to work completely if we needed to talk to her we have to call her you know and sometimes she'll message us um on whatsapp so you know that corona time we were basically unsupervised so i used to just run through the work and bear man i used to finish my work i feel like i said bear man a lot anyway i used to finish work on time right because i remember i'm quick so i know awful i know awful kind of set up my schedule so i finish on time and she can get the work as soon as possible right so in that time um one day i was on my phone checking my messages tell me how this lady is at home watching my whatsapp right watching when i come online anyway may i work and check my phone right when she's there we don't normally be on our phones because we don't say she'll go find a problem with it even though she don't say all oh, right don't use your phone when you work we well, know so enough to use your phone but my phone is here and i'm working sometimes i check my phone tell me oh she watch me i go online tell me why she watch me only oh, hear the work phone ring my own my answer i say hello miss carmen what are you doing i say i'm working what do you mean i'm working you know so oh me i see up on whatsapp so me i say pardon me you better put on that BBC. You better put on that BBC. Tell me. Tell me. Which professional employer I will curse bad word at your employees? I was shook. And bear in mind, this lady is a Christian. She is a Christian. Why is she cursing at me? So I said, Pardon? Yeah, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you hear <laughs> this funny for me this is so funny to me because why did i have to go through all that why did i accept that from this summer should i leave the world from this summer should i leave but no everybody me know i would have left already but i know oh me feel like me so strong me at all she said put on that Shook. I'm shook out of myself. I couldn't believe what I hear. You see, after she does, she come over the phone to me. What? <laughs> like, what? And she just hung up in my ears and I put on the phone. I mean, if I turn around to my phone, I mean, I say, you can't, be, you can't go believe what me. 
Miss Carmen just said to me. I'm gonna tell her she couldn't believe either. Like she usually, when she get mad, she usually goes Ross and cock a fart and name somebody, but never have I ever heard her curse raw bad word. And I'm gonna shook. I'm gonna say she left that get to work. She was so unprofessional. So unprofessional. She don't know how to address people. She don't know how to deal with things professionally. On to the next big incident. This is like the highlights, the climax. The climax. Remember, I'm telling you about our daughter named Boots. Not an employee, not a supervisor, not a manager, not not anything but her daughter. But yeah, you know, your parents' company, I feel like say I'll talk. But professional, if I was not told that you, hello, I report to you or any of that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you have the right to address me. Hold on. Because oh, all of this chatting. Boots feel like she knows it all. She knows it all. This is her mother's company, right? Um, being like she's protective over her mother's company. But really and truly, we know you love the money. It's the money. And we know. But that's none of my business. None of my business. Alright, at this point, the other girl left. At this point of the incident, the other girl left. She wrote, she took, she took her vacation for two weeks. Then she asked for an extra week. And then she sent in her resignation letter. Her resignation letter had two lines. Two lines. With immediate effect. I'm resigning. <laughs> Some likes I should say with immediate effect. <laughs> she resigned. But come here and tell you, nobody stays at this job for a long period of time. Like, she don't know how to hold employees because she's so unprofessional. And it's not like it's a job where you know you get a big amount of money for you suck up certain things. It was never that. So if you get a better opportunity, of course you are going to take it. So I guess she got a better opportunity and she left. Up to this day, she can't believe said the girl leave. When them used to treat her like trash, like she was a child, like them used to address her anyway, and she wouldn't answer them. She would answer them because, you know, she was very calm and she was a Christian and whatever. I'm not getting into her details because that's not my story to tell. Anyway, so at this point of this incident, she was already gone, so it was me and my friend. Right, working there. My friend is older than me, by the way. Like way older, than, not way older than me, but about seven to eight years older than me. I don't remember now because at my age, she is still twenty-four. Anyway, and that was a long time ago. So she's about eight years older than me. Right. So my friend and I were working there at this point. Boots usually come through. My mom tells she usually pass through sometime. She usually take care of some take care of some things for her mother, like if the office needs stationery or the printer needs ink, if the office needs bleach, disinfectant and things like that, she will deal with that. So one day my co-worker and I were at work. At that particular day, my boss didn't come to work, right? And Boots passed through. She passed through another evening and she left. She left. So we got close up. We got like about 5 o'clock. She left about 4.30. 4.30 or so. Or 4. Or go way before that. She left before we close up the office. That's all I want to say. And in that period of time, well, we always keep the employees keep the key because my boss don't come in as early as us. She usually come in later and she leave earlier than us, right? So that day it was me and my coworker. My coworker felt ill. She got ill and she went into the bathroom, vomit and whatever, whatever. right? She fell ill, so the next day she did not come to work. Remember, Boots passed through that day, they both, she left before that happened, right? So, um, my co worker fell ill, she did not come to work the next day. The next day, so obviously, me have to carry on the key 
to home now the next day. So the next day now, my boss come because you know she's not gonna make me there by myself. So she came to work that day. And it was me and her alone. I came before her da. So boots come now. Boots come. She passed and she go around the back. All of the ear, she start short for the top of her voice. So quick, quick time, me take up my phone and me start record. Because I remember, them don't like me now. The tension already did it. I only talk when I'm spoken to. I learn my place. My sister used to always tell me, say, your boss and your manager, your supervisor, they are not your friends. No matter how them seem cool with you, don't ever think say they are your friend. Like, learn your place with them. So I get that in my head now and... You know, I'm relaxed. Even though I used to say that lady, I like me, we get to see people real true colors because I don't do nothing for this lady I be so with me, honestly. So, boots start short. So, I'm going to take my phone at the same time and I'm just put it down on a record. Come and say, I want to take place. What is no what is for me now, Jesus? What is for me now? And this would have been my evidence if I need for proof nothing. So more rec I start record, I'm not say I'm not really, I'm not really want to say nothing, I'm not answer or anything. Tell me how she ever start cause say somebody T for the bleach. Mega make gonna hear the recording. Mega play it right now. professional business place well her mother's business place like when me oh, every time I listen over the audio then I get so upset with myself like why did I stay there and why I never answer 
but because my have an this is my first job, 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 it's like a haunt me if it ends bad. So, I have to stay calm and I have to no answer. The lady accused me for teeth bleach, young, young girl like me, when me I do it bleach? What me I do it bleach? What she also say is, my co-worker, she sure said my co-worker left the bleach there yesterday. She left five girls on the bleach there yesterday. She sure said, say my co-worker named Sam, come on here, show me call her name. Sam, she sure said Sam left the bleach there yesterday and all oh, the bleach missing this morning. Remember me opening up the place, right? So what she had tried to imply is that when me come this morning, me throw the bleach because if some left the bleach to this yesterday evening, I must this morning when I come at work, I throw the bleach and when I do the bleach, I don't know if I drink it or I carry it on my yard for the wash, clean or whatever. But when me do it, like up to this day, I don't understand why I do teeth bleach. She said bleach is cheap, seventy dollars for a bottle of bleach. I for buy bleach and got me a chin. Now call me name doing it. No. She now call me name, but if I know me, if I name my dad teeth the bleach, if I name my dad carry home the bleach, if I know you teeth the bleach, and if I know the co-worker teeth the bleach, I must me teeth the bleach. Don't? I must me teeth the bleach, and then me I do it bleach. What me I do with bleach? People from the compound all hear about that incident here. Yeah? Someone could have more than carry this to court. This is defamation of character. She's calling me a thief for bleach. Like, out of everything in that office, why would I steal bleach? <sighs> so after that, after that, and she left the office, tears start flowing. But we never cry. I did not cry. But I'm not cry. Make sure see. That's my boss because boots left. She created up avoc and left. And in the moment my boss no say my never teeth no bleach, but it's like she afraid her daughter. I don't know. She never stand up for me. When me ask her, me I say, Miss Carmen, am I the one? I'm sure you hear me ask her if am I the one she saying stole the bleach? She's like, uh -huh, I don't know, I know. You have facts, her, you have facts, sir, because uh, I don't see you using bleach and from your come I don't see you leave the office you know people go buy lunch it and this and that so me I say who oh, unprofessional of you to let your daughter come into this party shop and I address me like this because I'm most a party shop most a party shop because what and it's not the first you do something like this an incident occurred where a book was missing and they were accusing one of the employees. I'm not gonna say oh, they were accusing one of the employees for stealing the book. <coughs> Sorry, for stealing the book, right? But the book was actually in the office and it fell below the drawer. When they find it, they made shame like dog. Kinda want you them a deal with the employee. And I thought about if you carry the book here, yeah, you yeah, just say that and we I mean, just say that and this and that. They were very, very abusive, very abusive with words and them like treat people like, you know, them better than them and you need this job, I don't need you. When really and truly they needed us, they needed us and that is one of the reasons why I did not leave when I could have left because I kept felt, uh, kept feeling sorry for her when I shouldn't have become a safe. I leave now, I know much work. That they for do I'm know the deadlines and this and that but she never see that so why me must be surf here but at the end of the day I must still if you surf here cause she don't know what good for she and whatever my eyes get watery so I step around the back in a regular crying room in the bathroom and same time I start text my poor work and me and tell her tell her what happened and all them accused me of stealing the bleach blah 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 she said what I mean use the bleach my mama tell me she did sick she did sick and she did a vomit and such so she used the bleach to clean up you know I forgot to mention that after 
Sam sent the message to my boss, Miss Carmen. Apparently, Miss Carmen forwarded the message to Boots because Boots called Sam's phone and she was telling Sam, um, Don't get involved, don't get into this, I will deal with it. How you got to tell her, Don't get involved when she's telling you that she's the one who used the bleach? It's obvious that she wanted to free me and she made this all up just to free me. I guess this was one of their strategies to push me away for me to um resign <sighs> anyways back to the story so right after that i came up back from the bathroom and when, by the time i walked to my decks to sit down i got a message from my cousin i looked at the message it was the most unpleasant message ever she just sent me it raw up to this day, I don't forgive her for that message. Eh? So my cousin passed away that day, and I read the message. I'm just cool with all the tears. They come up, put them on the floor, and I'm floor, start cry, 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 cry. Because I'm very close with this cousin, right? Like, I see this cousin almost every day. So I'm gonna go to her office. I'm gonna Miss Carmen. I just heard that my cousin died. Blah, blah, blah. Can I leave? Can I leave? And she has said, yeah, yeah, you can leave, but we are crying so far, we are crying so far. Hear this. She asked me where me are crying so far, if me they close with the cousin. So me I say, yes, I'm very close with the cousin. And she has to say, sure, I know what Boots say. Oh God, no bad idea, I didn't She has to say, yeah, sure, I know what Boots say. Make you cry, me I say, no, no, no. Um, I just get a message and she has to say, yeah, sure, say your cousin dead. And she has to say, to you, yeah, ball. You look like you're not even can come at work tomorrow. So me I say, I never know say um work more important than my loved ones. Me I tell you say my cousin pass away. If you are come and tell me about you know look like me can't come and work. Like in this moment, do you really think that is appropriate? And she's going to even mention that when fear mother died, she not even did cry. What? I don't care if you and your mother never have a good relationship with your mother pass and you not even shed a tear. My cousin dead and me a ball. Me a ball. I mean, say, I need to go, I need to go. I wanted to leave and go to my cousin's house because whatever. Um, it happened at my cousin's house, right? So I wanted to go there. All of the family I gathered down there and whatever, whatever. I couldn't sit down and do no accounting work. No, so you know, I'm just, I needed to leave. So she said, okay. I can't leave and to all me and crying I look like I can't come in tomorrow so just to let her know let her know let her know and what you right so I'm gonna say okay okay I'm a grandma bag and I let her. next day when I woke up my eye them swell I'm cry non-stop right the next day I wake up my eye them swell my stuffy I was a mess so I'm gonna say you know what mm, I'm gonna go over to you I'm not going to work. So I'm going to call in and tell her, say, you know what? I'm not feeling too good. I'm not 100. So I won't be coming. She said, okay, and whatever. She used this against me. At the end of the month, she will, when it's not, yes, anytime a sample will get there, she always wants to start something with me. And she'll very sometimes, she see if she, she'll pick on one away, she will go to the other one other co-worker and one like we are buddies like you were just picking on me last week but no because you want to pick on some me and your best friend no so at the end of the month now she got a bow remember that day that we take boy yeah more than um your cousin she not pay me for that day day and started whatever first job look past everything just look past everything but really and truly i didn't look past every single thing because if she's going to accuse me of something i didn't do i'm gonna stand up for myself i'm gonna say but um miss carmen you told me to do this and whatever whatever and they did not like that she and boots did not like that because them used to pick on the co-workers them and deal with them any and any and them not for answer them like that's how she wanted and she like I young people, you know, I guess 
ones that seem vulnerable to her like she can deal with it in any way like a child and have you under her thumb that's what she like she not like i nobody with a degree she not got ever i nobody with no accounting degree she like people who just come out of school with fresh ones at work can pay you any money and deal with it any or any way she and boots <laughs> so yeah at the end of the month she never want to pay for that so i'm gonna say right, cool but never work so whatever fast forward to my last day at that horrible place right a lot of things going in between but i'm really not have the time for go through that mood that day so for the whole day at this time we're kind of you know i died on because we meet all the deadlines blah 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 and it was corona time corona. it was that time right I was meeting all the deadlines, finish, um, finish up all my work, you know, and at this time, she now come and work regularly, just when she feel like. So this day now, I finish up all my work, call her, remember, we'll call her, we'll tell her everything. She um, assigned tasks to us over the phone, tell us where to do it, find this and blah, blah, blah. So I call her and say, Miss Carmen, I finished this. Da, 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 da. I don't have anything else to do. What else you want me to do? She said, Well, it looks like you have a free dress of the day, free because I, mean, I have nothing else for you. Um, she just said, The client, they're bringing this date or they're going drop off this date, so I'm mean, have nothing for you, right? It was like half of the day, I didn't have anything to do. So the next day I came in, um, she called and she was like, why, why are you at work? So I'm like, pardon me? Why did it? Why did you come at work? So I'm saying, what do you mean? Am I not supposed to work? She's saying, yeah, we waste my time and yeah, we waste your time. How may I waste your time? I'm making myself available for work. How am I wasting your time? Am I not getting paid to come to work? If I never come at work, no people, you know, it would be a totally different story. So me say, what do you mean, Miss Carmen? She has said, man, I'm not fear do, man, I'm not fear do. The client them can't get for God the bank. A Corona time, them can't get no bank statement. Fear do no um, reconciliation. Blah 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 blah. blah. So me say, oh, is that my fault? So me say, what am I supposed to do? She said, go on your yard. See him so. Go on your yard. Go on your yard, and me will call you when we you. What? Like, the way of she, I'm telling her she's very unprofessional. She's very unprofessional. She said, I'm going to go my yard because she doesn't have nothing for me to do. When she get the bank statement, then she will call me because I waste her time and I waste um, my time. So I just take out my bag. I take out my bag. I'm going to go to my yard. I say, buy some. I'm going home because apparently me being here I'm wasting her time but now I present myself out here for work suppose the bank see me then they come in 12 o'clock suppose they come in 12 o'clock who would, I, who would I have them for, for go do them hmm? I never know say me coming to work <laughs> you know somebody just pick up my bag I'm going to go my yard go my yard I'm going to say God I know I'm always a prayer for you to get me out of that ghetto ass job here. Yeah. And if I saw you go do it, you send me a sign. So I just apply. I apply for a few jobs and I got called. And I just took up the offer. And I just, I just went. I went on training. I went on the new job. Even though me training i was still expecting her to call me i'm still looking out for her call because she didn't formally say hey i'm firing you or hey i am laying you off right she just sent me a mail but apparently all this time they were trying to push me away that like pushed me to um resign because they did not want to fire me right me and my mom passed my one year mark and i am um i'm qualified I qualified to call qualified to get my vacation. So 
I pass my one year mark and while I was at training, I say no more. I'm not going to sign it. I'm not going to them. not going to put me through so much and deal with me. So, and it, I'm going to just turn a blind eye. So, I'm going to call Ministry of Labor. Call Ministry of Labor and they're going to tell me, say, um, she can't lay me off. Them say basically it seems like she's laying me off, but it's very informal. So she can lay me off for 30 days, not 30 days, 90 days, or 60 days. Some amount of days before she have to make a decision um, whether she will fire me or she's going to call me back, right? So I'm say, alright, cool. I'm gonna say, how oh, can um get my vacation because this is not my vacation. You can't force me and tell me say you send me on my yard. Uh, and that's my vacation. I did not apply for vacation. So I want my money for my vacation because I never tell her, say, never take the time off, right? So them say, I can I can give her 10 days before I resign to um, get my vacation. So I write up my nice resignation. I say, I say, I'm not going to sit down and wait for you to call me and then give up sure for unsure because I just get called for your next work, right? So. My right on my resignation is a nice. Remember, my first job, you know, so I have to keep things on a level. So I write on my resignation letter and I say, Thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I really learned a lot. And I just got an offer to blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to take a better opportunity. Really appreciate the knowledge and everything. Yada, yada, yeah, like a big idiot. Like a big idiot. Like. A big idiot and in the resignation letter i'm gonna tell her i make myself available available for two weeks right the right way i make you two weeks with a smooth transition right tell me how and in the letter as well i applied for my vacation email that to her tell me how this lady did not respond she did not respond to my email. I knew she got it because remember, I left Sam there, right? I'm gonna say, Sam, hey, I'm gonna send my email because we had access to the email. I'm gonna send my email, make sure say, you notify her of the email, blah blah blah. And Sam did notify her. I don't know how my phone just stopped recording, but as I was saying, Sam notified her of the email, so I know she got the email, but she chose not to respond. So, I said, okay, it's gonna be like that. All along, I say, you know, I can't see this lady, do, but I say, God, I go deal with her. God, I go deal with her. I'm going to just say goodbye to the job. And I say, God, I'm so, 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 so happy you got me out of that situation because I used to can't go to sleep. I lie, I lie down on my bed, I stare at the ceiling, I think about this job and all of the foolishness them and the disrespect that I had to go through at that job. Like, that job haunted me it scarred me like till this day sometimes i just sit down on my face and say boy nick you went through it you really went through it but i'm so glad i'm no longer in that situation praise be lord because i'm not disrespectful and my now disrespect it. even if you disrespect me never think about it twice before my disrespect you if you are my employer right so I never, never deserve that at all but no me learn my lesson me learn my lesson and me know my rights so don't try me I'm so glad I got out of that situation even though the way it played out was not professional and that's not how I expected it to but that's that and I pray God never ever ever put me in the situation that I have to reach out to that lady or have to come in contact with her at all please lord <sighs> anyways that is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far thank you so much please remember to like share comment and subscribe let me get to 500 subs see you in my next one